Heading now to massive rocket motors are on the move to the California Science Center. They'll be part of a permanent display of the Space Shuttle Endeavor. Eyewitness News reporter Jaysha Patel is live in Exposition, Exposition Park with the details. Jaysha. Hey, good morning, you guys. Very exciting morning we're having over here. These are 116 feet long rocket motors. And right now I'm joined with Kenneth Phillips with the California Science Center, who's going to share some insight into, into how big this moment is. First of all, we were talking earlier and you said that you were behind the proposal of bringing the endeavor to the California Science Center. So tell us kind of what, why? Well, we felt that we wanted the kids to have a really up close and personal experience to what I think is the most amazing flying vehicle we've built as a country to this point. It's really complicated, which is why we're assembling it, and this is one of those days. And the name of the game is for people to think that they can do this, if that makes any sense. And so that's the whole reason we're building the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center, to invite people to get into the game. You can do this. You can be a part of it. You can build the next one. You can build an improved version of it. And so the space shuttle is one thing, um, and the Samuel Ocean Air and Space Center will have another, about 100 other major artifacts, airplanes, spaceships, rockets, and things like that. So. Can you tell us what is the plan? It's, it's to make it upright, right? And so to kind of tell us what can we expect when the project is complete? Okay, when it's complete, it's going to be 200 feet tall, and you'll see these solid rocket motors vertical, and between the solid rocket motors, you'll see a big orange external tank. Now, the solid rocket motors were responsible for 80% of the power that the spacecraft needed to reach orbit, okay? And then the external tank, ET, that's the big orange thing, that had liquid propellants in it and those propellants fueled engines that were on the space shuttle itself. So we're going to take those solid rocket motors, put them vertical, they'll fit into something called aft skirts, which are already there, then we're going to bolt the external tank to the solid rocket motors, and then we're going to bolt the space shuttle Endeavour to the external tank. And Leslie, why is this so important? Why is today so special for not only you guys, but for the public to see this? Well, it's special because this is the public's spaceship. I mean, it is. That's why we got it. You know, we were gifted it by NASA in 2011, and we're stewards of it. And so the idea, the agreement is we will put a magnificent display together that belongs to the people of California, and it does. And so we want people to be as much a part of it as we go through the process. You know, this should, you should see it, everything from, from soup to nuts, everything that we're doing. So the aft skirts went in in July. These solid rocket motors will probably mount, be mounted sometime in early November, and then we'll put the external tank in toward the end of the calendar year, and then after the first of the year, will lift Endeavor into its final position. So it's a big deal. It's a big block party. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Just like he said, it's like a big block party. We've already seen people come out here to see these rocket motors. Now they are stationary right now, but they are going to start moving towards the California Science Center. So if you want to see it, we definitely recommend coming out and lining up along Figueroa Street. Back Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.